Here is Azrael, an alleged victim of R. Kelly and her father, Angelo Clary. Um, Shabazz, who is also ASIS Entertainment Network, or Aziz Entertainment Network, um, is exposing them both as liars, saying that they lied on the documentary, which he produced, um, said that it, they were lying, period. So let's get into this, see what he's talking about. Well, it looks like something is going on online. Mm -hmm. So ASIS Entertainment Network, who is uh, also known as uh, Shabazz, he's releasing some footage and there's a lot of information going on in the back and forth of these comments here about some stuff. So let's get into all this. Let me play this clip for y'all real quick so y'all could listen to it. It's, it's ready. It's ready to move in. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Mean. Yeah. And it would be a 12 month lease term. A year. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. It's only one of you. Oh, okay. It's only one of you. <laughs> we don't have any kids that are going to be here? No. It's okay. Because I was going to say, it is in a great school district. Oh. Okay. But this hasn't, that won't apply. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, usually if you're in a great school district, you're in a great area. Mm -hmm. And so this is all the information, correct? Yes, so it's 2230. Um, it's a one-month deposit on that. And a $75 application fee. Okay. Okay. And as you see, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, ready, it's, ready, it's ready to move in. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Yeah. And it would be a 12-month all right so there you go looks like he's releasing some footage of angelo and Israel uh looking at an apartment you clearly heard the lady say is like 2200 a month 2230 she said but in the comments here um right here in the caption section let's see what we have here and aces entertainment network says it seems as if the r kelly saga is still going strong or is strong underground for whatever reason i continue to get questions in regard to precedence the documentary i did and tried to move on from for me it was one film one of 16 that i've done but this one has a million questions still being asked so today i'll answer some footage Oops, let me move that up a little bit. So today, I'll answer some with footage. Footage I never released. In this clip, you see Azriel and her father house shopping. Well, house shopping meaning looking for a place to rent. Now, I know people will ask, where did she get the money? I'll tell you. It came by means of, you guessed it, R. Kelly. Let me explain something to you. Azriel hustled every dollar and dime she could based on nothing and nobody else but Kelly. Without him, she wouldn't exist. Understand that I'm not bashing her. Her story is her story, but her story couldn't exist without him. Nobody knew about her until she had her incident. In all honesty, nobody knew about any of his accusers until they had somebody to accuse. Her fame is based entirely on that. There will be people who say, whatever, have all kinds of conspiracies in regards to the case, but I'll say this again. Everybody involved, good and bad, walked into that situation. The one thing I will say is that he didn't force anybody to do anything. If he asked you to eat shit, you did it. The man didn't put a gun to nobody's head, even if he used his power. You always have... You always had the power to say no. Nigga, you must be crazy. I ain't doing that. But the money made them do as asked or told, allegedly. In addition to all that, there is a question of footage I made a statement of having more. And of course, there was a question of if I do. I'll tell you this. I filmed every second, every fight every incident from personal in the hospital talking to her doctor's footage to every story that she not only gave me but also to the feds people have to know that when you put a camera in the average person's face they talk and talk and talk and sometimes they lie i have to move i have i don't have to 
I moved on from that story. I have no interest in it, but I won't be lied on. For me, it's real simple. I know the truth. You better leave me alone. Mm, let me tell y'all. We about to go through these 221 comments. We not going to go through all of them, but we going to go through the important parts. All right. Kirsty Lynn 315, you said one sentence. You're not trying to bash ass, but this whole post is degrading her and her father. You should have stopped with precedence. This is BS. Everyone blames ass and you keep the mess up, but you're biased, right? Not so much, whatever. So then Asus replies, I told the truth. The truth lands where it lands. Should I lie to keep from be from so-called being, I'm sorry. Should I lie to keep from so-called bashing ass? When she told the story, at first, she loved Kelly. Then she bashed him. But I'm the wrong one? Her father bashed me as well. But I respond with truth, and I'm wrong? In any event, thanks for your comment. Point taken. You have a great day. Mm -mm -mm. Then Danger Owls, Dangerous D uh, came out and said they can't handle the truth. Wow. Let's move on down here. Um, let's go into Power and Words 2.0. This documentary was three hours of R. Kelly people and 20 minutes of Azrael. And all you post is Azrael. Dr. Rice about to get 20 years post that shit. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for that. Power and Words. Uh, Ace's Entertainment Network goes in and says, at Power and Words. I didn't know that. Besides, I didn't do a documentary on Dr. Rice. Power and Words, Aces and Entertainment Network. You did do it with him. He talked just as long as Azrael. Power and Words 2.0 says, and you better hope you don't get indicted for recording in a hospital behind a door illegally. Hippo, federal bro. Cut this shit out. Duh, it's Hippo. Oh, Lord. Anyways, let's move on. So Fibro Fighter says um, at Aces Entertainment Network, she's not the only victim. You were putting down all the victims, not just as. When she did get with him, she was a kid. Do you think mentally she's grown after being stuck in a prison atmosphere? Um, Fibro Fighter 2010 must not truly understand the whole situation here. Um, it sounds as if they truly don't know as the situation. Uh, the fact that as was with R. Kelly just a couple months before she turned 18, she was not a kid. She was not a minor. Um, she was pretty much a grown woman making a lot of grown decisions, um, according to her history, before she even met R. Kelly. Anyways, moving on, Asus goes ahead and responds at Fibro Fighter. She got with him as a result of her parents taking her there. Why not argue with that? Ain't no way in hell. Am I even taking my daughter to a priest and leaving her alone at 17? Your argument lacks merit because you are leaving out the truth and common sense. Ash Bashes 738 adds Fibro and says Azrael wasn't a kid and she's not a victim. Yeah, Azrael didn't become a victim until she seen money or she was running out of money. Uh, Power and Words 2.0, why are you not pointing... Why are you not posting his sisters? Would be would they be important? Why are you not showing pictures of Keith? He about to get indicted. I don't get it, bro. They was just named Enrico and Ezreal. House hunting is more important. No power in words. What you don't understand is Ace's Entertainment is only going to put up what he has proof of. But let's read Ace's Entertainment Network's information or a response. I'm sorry. Um, at Power and Words 2.0, they made derogatory statements. They claimed I didn't have footage. I showed that I showed what I didn't show to show I did. I didn't come at them. They came at me to discredit me. You don't hear me promoting or talking about them. I'm working on an entirely different story. Truth of the matter is, I was done with it. Mm -mm -mm. So let's go down a little bit. Um... Let's keep on going. Here we go. We are going to keep on going. 
what is going on here? So, feminism world, this is laughable. Your captions, nothing but tales with zero receipts, make it stop. This is not how you build a company, weirdo. Mm. So then she goes in and she says, not going to lie. You're right about the family knowing about his allegations and still carried on and chose to go after him. Her not liking her father. I could see why that one Gal King interview. And on your documentary. I'm not saying you're entirely wrong, but they clearly said you've had new receipts to back up your claims. It will be best to back up your story with receipts because there are so many denying from their side. We don't know what to believe. So then Asus Entertainment replies back and he says, Feminism World, let me say this, I have no beef with you. Second, I have no reason to lie. I was done with this story because of all of this. I lie like everybody else, but not about this. I get nothing out of it. I told the story already, but dude got a big mouth and thinks people are scared of him, and I'm not. Had he shut the fuck up, I wouldn't even post old footage, because that is what this shit is, old. I gave you some info, and check the hotel. See that he is a petty security room de deposit. See that he is a petty security room deposit ass thief. Wow. You just don't know what you're dealing with. I promise you that. Azrael is fucked up because her father is fucked up. And would do anything to get on, including selling her. He is like a crackhead selling his baby for a hit. He sells her a nasty crack dealer. He sells her a nasty crack dealer in the boondocks, rapes her. Then he turns around and says he didn't sell her. He just didn't. He just asked him. He just asked him to watch her because he had to pay. Then the public says, oh my God, how could the crack dealer do such a thing? Instead of asking, why did he bring him to him in the first place? He plays psychological games for the dumb. When you catch on and blow his cover, he turns into a tough guy. He's a low life. Woo. Woo. Mm-mm-mm. What? Is going on. So these people are going in. Uh, is it culture, creation, so where? I really don't. I didn't read the first one. It says, seems to me you're waiting for a verdict to make your decision on if he's guilty or not. To determine if you're going to fuck with him or diss him. But let's be clear. Evidence speaks for itself. The stuff they're presenting in court is the same stuff we've known about for 30 plus years. We don't need a court to tell us he's guilty. The writing is on the wall. Well... Culture Creation Soweri, or whatever your name is. Um, 30 years ago, that information he was acquitted on. Um, anyways, let's read Asus's uh, return comment. Okay, so you can tell me that. Why not use that same reasoning for as and her father? How are you going to tell me that and turn around and defend them? Talking about them, talking about I'm dissing every other victim. That's not true. I don't know their stories. I've only heard them. But I know her story because I've literally seen her in action. Mm, child. It says, Shabazz, you're not telling the whole story. Why is that? So Shabazz goes in and he says, I honestly told the whole story. What was left was left because it wasn't relevant at the time. What made it relevant again was the lies. Azrael's a liar. Her father is a liar. Just don't lie on me, especially when I didn't do anything but play fair. How I turned into the bad guy when they both filmed. Didn't get what they wanted and now flipped is beyond me. What they're doing is a pattern. They cooperate until you do something they don't like or want to give. Think about it. The girl ate shit. She stayed too. She turned around and did it again. This is out of her own mouth. But once again, Kelly changed visits. Once he sent money to the other girl and not her, she flipped. Her daddy flipped. 
They talked to her at least once a week and lied like they didn't. They knew and as kind as as God they knew and as kind as as got that bag, she stayed and held Daddy up off of him. Now look, they doing some sh- they doing the same shit with me. How is it that every time they're involved with something it ends the same way? Think about it. To be honest, I couldn't tell that part because it happened. It hadn't happened until now. Ash returns and replies and says at Asus, "Wow, oh my God! Thanks for responding. Our Kelly must have knew she was playing games." Mm. Why is Angelo calling anyone a rat when he has paperwork as a rat? Sheesh. Um. Go through. I'm just kind of just glancing through these. I didn't see all this, but let me go through a little bit. I heard there's some things in here. Um. Everyone close to the situation releases little te- little teasers, but never just tells the whole truth. Every page, every documentary, every parent of a victim went live. All of it. So much finger pointing. It makes me feel like everyone had a part and no one is innocent in this situation. The only person I feel like painting a good picture for us because she had no hand in this was Unwind with Tasha K. So then Asa says, at Dom, that ain't true. According to Angelo, that was his sister. And said what he wanted her to say. He says she says what Angelo and Azrael tells her to say. Dom says, wow, I'm blown away. Miss Nina Simone says all facts. They better leave you the fuck alone. Mm -mm -mm. They know the truth is about to come out. Wow. So, um... Yeah, so that's what's going on here in the comments. Um, someone said, when I read the comments, I see the only manipulation is coming from Angelo and Azrael. These people are far gone being brainwashed. Shabazz, you really need to make a follow-up for your documentary. Things are changed. Complete the story. Wow. So there you guys have it. Um, this is the comments section, everything that's going on here. I don't know if there's anything else um, that I missed. I will go through this again um, on my own to make sure that I am not missing anything. Um, I appreciate you all for watching. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you feel. Um, Let me know what you feel about this situation here. Mm, This is interesting. Just when you think it's over, the drama continues, but on a different angle. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Till next video.